smoke medical weed every day. The following thoughts on Hoppy Hour represent Brian Hoppy and Pastis. Listener discretion is advised. Live from Tampa Bay, you are tuned in to Hoppy Hour. He's the voice of a generation that got screwed by the baby boomers. Welcome back to Hoppy Hour. Hoppy Hour. Hoppy Hour. Happy hour starts in four, three, two, happy, happy, happy. This is happy hour with happy and Alessia. How dare you, Alessia, <laughs> turning up my air conditioning in this apartment when you know I sweat a lot. I'm cold. Are you cold? Ice cold, cold hearted. You are not cold hearted. <laughs> You're just a sociopath. I'm kidding. This is Hoppy Hour. I am your host, Ryan Hoppy. I've talked to you a lot, but we haven't heard from you in a minute. I know. How's I'm, life going, Alessia? Life is great. I'm happy to be back. It feels so good to have the headphones on again and be across from you. Hell yeah. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alessia. Happy birthday to you, and how many more you'll be able to manifest, we're not sure. I can't wait to be 80 years old, Ryan. Why? I am so pumped for it, actually. Why? Okay, you know the woman, Julia, can't remember her last name, from Seinfeld. She was the actress in Seinfeld. Dreyfus? Yes, Dreyfus. Julia Dreyfus has a podcast called Wiser Than Me where she interviews older women. And you, oh, yeah. I love it. And so there was this woman who was like, when you're 80 years old, you're not worrying about your insecurities anymore. You're past all of it. You don't give a fuck about anything. <gasps> and I was like, yes. Oh, my God. Imagine it inspired you? It's liberation. I didn't realize existed. I was like, imagine getting to the point where like life has happened, you're in a good place, you don't have any, you give no fucks, and you're 80 years old. I'm looking forward to being 80, Ryan. I'm 33 years old. You know that. You were at my little birthday cake celebration with friends and family the other day. That was a unique event. I had such a blast there. I would love to hear your take on it. I want to <laughs> hear your take and then I'll comment. Okay, so Ryan showed up, and I had the neighborhood kids over and my kids running around the house. Well, first of all, I showed up because I don't know who's more impossible to get a hold of. You or Meghan Markle. So I kind of had to show up. Not that I showed up just because of the podcast, but it was like 20% podcast, 80% happy birthday, Alessia. <laughs> I'm so bad with my phone. and I feel You're like getting worse. I am getting worse. You're getting- Clear Clearly, I'm getting worse. I love you more than I love you more than anything, but you are getting worse with your phone. It's like <laughs> I swear. I think I could call one eight hundred Megan Markle, and Harry would pick pick up and be like, "What do you want?" Right. So with the birthday, I showed up because I wanted to, of course, support you. Yes, you you showed up, and your eyes got so wide, and I just saw your face, kind of observing all the children screaming and running around, and I said, "Hey, Ryan." Does this make you uncomfortable? <laughs> and you're like, oh, can you uh, tell by my face or something? And then I'm like, yes. Your and mom and her boyfriend multiple times were like, you look so uncomfortable. I'm like, yes, I'm very uncomfortable. I got a vasectomy. And then you had sangria and life was flowing. I, what did you put in that sangria? I swear to God, that sangria, I had to sit down for 30 minutes. I wanted to leave at 8.30, but I hung out, and I actually worked out. The sangria made me hang longer, but, man, I had to sober up a little bit. I don't know what the hell you put in that sangria, but my God, girl. A little brandy. That's, the, that's, that's what it was. I heard rumors from your one neighbor that was sitting to my left. Yes, that Liz, you, Liz. That you put in a little sangria. And I was like, yeah, that doesn't sound like Alessia, but maybe I don't know you well enough. No, you know me. That's the key, though. Sangria them up and they stay longer. But yeah, and then Ryan got me this cute birthday card. Oh, yeah. And it has Rapunzel on the front and says, it's not easy being a princess. And I was like, this is the best card ever. I thought that was the frozen princess. Oh, you thought it was Elsa? I, do you think I'm a person that watches princess movies unless I have a girlfriend that's into Disney? Do you think I'm one that goes, oh, I want to watch uh, Princess and the Frog today? 
Speaking of, first of all, I can't believe you know what the princess and the frog is. And when you date girls that are into Disney, you watch Disney before you get laid. You go, oh, I totally want to watch this 90 minute I want to cry with you. <laughs> I would love to go to Disney with you. I feel like that would be oh. really fun. And we could get the Mickey ears and I can get the mini ears. Already did it. Not a fan. Okay, good. I'd rather go partying somewhere with you and... Like uh, at some nightclub and wake up in an alley. I'm not really into nightclubs, but I loved the chill room last night off yeah. of 49th Street North. Just type in chill room Pinellas Park on your GPS. It I don't have the exact awesome. address. I don't have the exact address. We have some things in the works there. Everybody over there is super cool. Uh, you were the talk cool. of the town when you showed up, by the way, princess. Oh my gosh. Let you just... were the talk of the town. This was one of my social anxiety anxiety moments of my life so i i pull up <laughs> ryan always greets me because he's a gentleman yeah. and we go to walk in and he swings the door open pulls it open wide and i can see <laughs> everybody's faces just kind of looking and i stopped at the door i didn't walk in yet and i look at ryan and i'm like ryan i can't walk in i have social anxiety right now and then anyways we walked in and i had come from dinner with my family so i had um a different vibe outfit on than everybody else that was yeah. on. <laughs> so I walk in in my strappy heels and, you know, I felt some type of way, but everyone at the chill lounge was so cool. I, I loved it. I loved meeting your friends. We played a little trivia. Ryan and I had heart to heart chats like we always do. Enjoyed some Kratom there and it was a great environment. I can't wait to go back. Yeah, it was funny. You called me and you're like, should I go home to change? I'm kind of dressed a little bit like a hoe. And I'm like, no, you're not. And then you pulled up and I'm like, you're dressed like a hoe. <laughs> I did go home to change and I couldn't un unzip the back of my romper. So I was <gasps> like, I guess it just has to stay on. I liked my outfit. It was actually my mom's romper that I borrowed because I don't have stylish clothes. So I just go to her closet. So thank you, mom, for dressing like a hoe. Speaking of Miss Calandra, that is a spicy woman. Happy birthday, Mom. Today's Hell your birthday. Yeah. Happy 50th. I know how to talk to women. Happy 21st. <laughs> yeah. That would have been better to say. Mm -hmm. Although that means she would have had you at like negative 20. That's fine. Your mom is spicy, bro. What do you mean spicy? <laughs> like, like a little sassy spicy? Oh, yeah. I can totally tell. And I said to her that that is <laughs> Alessia's mom. You guys are identical. <laughs> and your little, uh, they're not necessarily insults, but the little comments that you you poke, you, <laughs> you poke a little bit. Oh my gosh. What comments did she make that poked? Um, she was like saying that I should be, I don't even remember. She was kidding around, but she's got the same thing where she laughs evilly like you. <laughs> and it's adorable. I love it. That's cute. Parents are cool like that. I feel like dads are the ones that kind of like have a song for all your friends as they walk in. And then moms kind of make those backhanded under, under their breath comments. And you like, they're smiling, so you don't know if they're... <laughs> well, you know what's funny? And I got to tread lightly when I say this. It's not about your mom. It's about your friends. So you've told me over these podcasts, we've probably done 30, maybe less. Feels like 100 million with you. Oh, my God. Working with you is the absolute best. I'm kidding. You've told me about your wild days in the mid-2000s. And then I meet some friends that you're like, I've known them since preschool. And I'm like, I'm doing the like math in my head and the uh, scenario imaginations. And I'm like, what did they do that they're now suppressing? But they're like, oh, we're going to get wiped down and we're so well behaved. And I'm not saying they're not, but I look at some of your friends and I'm like, wow, 15 years ago, thank God there wasn't really smartphones. Why? <laughs> you know, what do you think? I don't understand. Just chugging vodka, parties, talking to dudes. Just You think they do that now? Who? No, not now. Oh, but back in, the, in the day? Oh, yeah. Like a half a decade. Okay, not a I'm half a decade. Like 15 th years ago. I'm saying like with your friends, any of the friends I've met where you're like, I've known them since high school. I'm like, you guys have gone through like four different personalities since then. That is the truth. No, legitimately different, completely different people. Yeah. My friend Danielle, uh, who was at the party, her and I have been going to school together since kindergarten. And we started out as like Girl Scouts, brownies, you know, doing that thing. And then we went through high school, yeah. college. She went to FSU. I mean- 
There was lots of skinny dipping, streaking. That's what I'm exactly (laughs) talking about. The images that are going through my mind when I see everybody talking, that is exactly what was going through my mind. How funny would it be if you could hang out at a party with your other selves? Like, how cool would it be if like (laughs) eight-year-old Alessia, 16-year-old Alessia, 21-year-old, let's throw a 17-year-old in there too. And then and then we'll do like 20, 25-year-old Alessia and now 33-year-old Alessia. We don't need that many Alessias, but you get the picture. How funny would it be? What would we all be saying? To I don't even want to see Ryan Hoppy from two days ago. <laughs> I don't even want to see Ryan Hoppy from a week ago. I do. Why? You're right. We're moving forward. We don't need to see our past selves. I'm being serious though. Like literally, could you imagine if we're all in the same room? I wonder if Would we like, get along or would our personalities clash? <laughs> well, did we get along before? You were no, scared to no, talk to I me. No, I didn't mean you and I. I meant would would you But get I'm along? talking about you and I. Oh, okay. Hello. Hi, how's it Hi. going, babe? <laughs> uh, I don't think I was ready to be your co-host seven years ago when I first met you. No, I'm ready. Now I can take on the task of having to deal with Alessia. You were intimidating. Why was I into Every time I saw you, of course, anytime I saw the other promo people we worked with, I always wanted to say, hi guys, how are you? And then I would see you and I would shy from being- Why? Because you were intimidating. What's intimidating? There's nothing intimidating about me. I'm a, I'm a big teddy bear. That, well, first of all, your height was intimidating. Yep. Your, you, you carried yourself with an intimidating, don't talk to me, I'm better than you presence. Hell yeah, I did. And then, <laughs> and then you know what happened? What? Life humbled me. Is right? <laughs> that why you're so nice now, Ryan? Yeah, that's the only reason. <laughs> if I would have kept up with whatever was going on in my previous life, I would have been the cockiest SOB at 40. There you go. But what was the energy where I acted like I was better than everybody? I think everyone thought you were better. Be like, I told you this before, but yeah. everyone was like, Ryan Hoppy is going to make it in radio. He's good. He's yeah. good at what he does. He's talented. He's, yeah. he's done things. And we were all like, oh, he's so above us. Because all of us were there. We didn't want to do promotions forever. Our goal was yeah. to get on the radio eventually. And everyone knew Ryan was in that top seat. And we had to take him out, which we knew we couldn't. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. I've joined the dark side. I am on Happy Hour Radio with your host. Ryan Hoppy. Hell yeah. You're a trip, man. It's very bizarre. If you would have told me at the promotions tent when you were hiding on the other side so you didn't have to talk to me, when you were working for like Magic or the Dove and I was at the Bone, if you would have told me that we would have had this adventure we've had the last eight months, I wouldn't have believed it. Oh my God, same. 100%. I didn't think when we first met for coffee to kind of brainstorm if this would be a good fit or not. That I we knew would, it would. I didn't know we would love each other as much as we do right now. Did you think it would turn into yeah. the friendship we have? You're, you're talking to me. I'm so great, and I so don't have any flaws that everything <laughs> works for me. And I'm only half kidding. Happy hour. Happy hour. Happy hour will be right uh, back. Let's turn on some Romeo here. I need some Romeo in my life to wake me up. Man. I'll ask you. You said something to me last night that made me so happy. Tell me. That made me so excited. You and I, I I had to put up the picture because it made my arms look jacked. And you looked really sexy with that wink. Like, oh, what are we going to do tonight type of wink. That's how guys think. You think you look ugly in pictures when you wink? Guys put in their head like, what does that wink imply is going to happen later on? You don't realize how guys think. I don't. Like, I saw the wink and thought, wow, I really have some, uh, what do they call the eyelids that... (laughs) Flirtatious vibes of a good time? When you have no eyelid, it's called, uh, like, uh... I'm blanking. It'll come to me later in the podcast, and I'm just going to blurt it out. When we're, like, 47 minutes in. But I've been working out at Amir Academy of Martial Arts, box in the bag. I've had a lot of things I want to punch the bag over. And your boy's getting jacked. Holy, 
Hold on. I'm taking a picture, everybody. One sec. Oh, God. Narcissism 101. Take a video. Okay. Do it again. Let me tell you. When you go to a mere Academy of Martial Arts. Whoa. Pull it back a little, Ryan. Pull it back. These results come in and you get jacked as hell, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nothing says confidence 101 like filming yourself flexing on your own podcast go to amiracademy.com and when i tell you that he is the best mma trainer in all the bay area i'm a man of my words i am here as a witness to say that ryan has physical results from going to amir and his arms are jacked and I'm getting my energy back. And you feel confident. It's like such a confidence booster to go beat the crap out of the bag. Yeah. Let's hear a little Romeo. <laughs> Pass the ecstasy. I'm just kidding. I can't. I can't with Romeo. I feel like I'm here. Here's what I'm visualizing. In what? That. I'm in the middle of a very dark jungle rainforest and there you could see the green Real from quick, the let me uh oh, let okay. me uh, take a hit so i can get this image going go on okay so it's dark and it's just like somehow the plants are neon but it's pitch black night but you're in the jungle i can't romeo oh my god <coughs> that's better uh funniest thing your mom said to me uh guess what the f and it goes along with what i just uh did Guess what the funniest thing your mom said to me was at the birthday? I feel like we're going into like yo mama jokes or something, but what did she say? She said um, something. Of, you said, hey, Ryan, do you have any marijuana or weed? Oh, and I said, um, I have some in the car because of my medical card. And I said, but there's kids here. And then the kids were all kind of on the other side of the house. And your mom's like, well, there's no kids here. And I'm like, again, that is Alessia's mom. Happy hour. Naughty. Call Hoppy now. 856-49-HOPPY. Tweet at him at Ryan Hoppy Radio. Or chat him live via the Hoppy Radio app. Please don't be offended. He's sorry in advance. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The most listened to radio show on the planet. Even the other stations are tuned in too. Let me tell you, Alessia. I'm kind of a big deal in this town. Not at all, kind of, maybe. But guess what happened? I paid $25 to be verified. No, you didn't. I Ryan was. Hoppy. First of all, what a hypocritical little bitch you are. Hell yeah, bring it on. Bring I, it on. I cannot even, okay, listeners, listen up. Oh, if no. you have ever <laughs> listened to our podcast in the past, Ryan Hoppy has gone on and on and on yes. about how dumb it is to be verified. He has made a point yeah. to talk about this on our show. Oh, sure. How he would never stoop to the level of needing to be verified. Yeah. And I'm sorry. Did you just say you got verified? You paid the $25 that could have went to something else. To be verified. You are owned by them when you get verified. You I know need why? To know, I need to know the mental backstory of what led you to that choice. So I heard that your work gets shown more if you're verified, which is true. Here's the annoying part about being verified. They have to approve of your profile picture. Uh, okay, let me go online and see what your profile picture is. At which account? You have three accounts. Uh, Facebook. Oh, it's on Facebook. So you up, but I I canceled it because it wasn't letting me update my profile oh pictures. Oh my gosh! So that was a big deal for two days. We didn't even get into it, and then you said, "But I canceled it." Wow, what a I'm great keeping, story! I'm keeping my Twitter though, because you can write up to ten thousand characters, and then also you can add up to two hour movies for eight minutes. What a perk! Yeah, <laughs> that is a perk. Okay, because if I make a best of happy hour and it's four minutes and 20 seconds long and I can only put up two minutes and 20 seconds. But let me tell you, they are absolute idiots because they make it impossible to be verified and they're trying to make money off of it. And when you're treating the consumers like crap, man, I ain't dealing with that. That's not my vibe. Ryan. Why? Okay. Wow. Okay, everyone. So just so you know, he's verified on Twitter. Yay for us. Anything else, Ryan? 
Wow, you're spicy today. <laughs> Did I tell you? I already talked about it on the other podcast. You know I'm drinking shrooms right now. Are you? Yeah, it's called shrooms. It's chaga. Dude, that's the new keyword of 2023. It's how uh, CBD was in 2017. Everything's got mushrooms now. People are like, oh, I'm going to trip. It gives that, you natural no, this, energy. <clears throat> this is for the, the nutritional benefits, Ryan. There is no tripping involved. I've been debating allegedly never would about shrooms. Um, my cousin bought me a shroom chocolate. Okay, first of all, <clears throat> just a disclaimer. Yeah. We've talked about weed. We've talked about sangria. We've talked about chaga. Yeah. And now we're talking about a chocolate mushroom bar. I promise our listeners, I am like the most straight edge person. Wasn't back in the day. <laughs> you were naughty then. <laughs> but I am a mama and I rarely drink and I feel like I'm very uh, sober most days. But my cousin bought me this um, chocolate shrooms bar because he knows I suffer with anxiety, although I've been doing great. So I won't say suffering. I have anxiety sometimes. And he, uh, has been sending me articles on micro dosing. He thinks that moms, you know, this has become a thing among mothers and other people too, I'm sure that if you take a little bit of shrooms, it kind of lives in the background of your subconscious and helps you with your anxiety and your, and your everyday function without yeah. the trip and hallucinating effects that mushrooms can bring sometimes. Yes. So anyways, I have this chocolate bar. I had to put it high up in my closet inside a, a container to keep it fresh. And I'm like, what do I do with this thing? Do I go hard one day and just trip on some damn chocolate shrooms? Or do I try this micro dosing out? Haven't decided. I think we should do it together and report back. Really? You want, I, to, you want to go halvesy on the chocolate? Should we feed each other the chocolate bar? Too? And then hang out at your house because it's safe there. And then have it be the day that em, have it be the day that Emma Mayman's got the kids so that there's no kids around. That's a great idea. And also, we should give my neighbor Liz a heads up that we're doing it because she's so cool. She would like bring us food and like she would like meditate with us and have us do like energy work, and we'd be. Is all that into the uh, anti COVID woman? <laughs> yeah. Yes. She come I, I adore her, but she comes up to me and we're talking <laughs> and she's like, Did you get I don't even know what word she says, but any other person goes, Did you get COVID? But she said something and I was like, I, I don't think I got it. And then she begins talking about getting COVID and I was like, Oh, you just used a big word to describe COVID. It was, it was kind of funny because I didn't she know. She has a dictionary. So the neighbors and I joke that Liz has like her own vocabulary that we're learning. Like she calls the kids pet pestilence or, or Yeah, that was kind of the vibe I got. Something? She was like, did you get the uh, insert big word here? And I'm like, I, I don't think I got it. I wear condoms. What and then co she was talking about COVID. And then I was like, oh. Because she was talking about how she got in trouble on the next door app, which... I get alerts on the next door app about my neighborhood. Oh, God. The next door app, the lamest thing ever. I'm not on it. People talk about it. I feel like it would take up too much time. I'd get either really annoyed or like really into it. It's sassy. There's a lot of fights. Hence why Liz loves it. She is an actress and she loves the drama. Gosh, my neighborhood is full of great people. Tampa Bay, we rock. Look how unique all of us are. Go, go give your neighbor a high five and bake them something yummy. Next on Happy Hour. This morning, a growing number of shoppers are reaching their tipping point. Why am I tipping for a mobile pickup order? Some companies have been implementing a tipping option at self-checkout lines, even when the customer has minimal to no interaction with an employee. Have you noticed? Before I get into this, I want Alessia's 100% breakdown of tipping. What is your etiquette? Okay. <clears throat> I was just talking to somebody about this and we feel that everywhere we go now, there's tipping. Yeah. I have always been an over tipper. My family has always over tipped since I was a kid. I you're classy. That. No, I wouldn't call it classy. I would say that we uh, feel like we need to overcompensate for something. So we fucking over tip <gasps> like motherfuckers. Naughty. And everywhere we go, they're like, oh, is 15% okay? And I'm like, no, make it 20 Make it 25 because I just feel like so awkward. I don't, I don't know what it is. <clears throat> so I overtip and I 
get very confused now that the way of the world is like everywhere you go, tip is included. Like you go to the, <sighs> everything has a dang tip. Imagine the My money we is- spend in tips. And then a lot of countries don't even accept tipping. And that's how it should be. Have the place of work, pay the widgets, and let's get rid of tips altogether. <laughs> Although I worked in the service industry and we fucking thrive off tips and we feel like it's like this game and it's exciting. We want to make the most tips and that's why people go into the service industry. This is a visual, but Alessia got on her feet and began <laughs> pacing back and forth in my apartment. Oh my gosh. First of all, I didn't even realize I did that. And secondly, I don't know what it is. I feel like it's the chaga. I'm fucking hyped up right now, Ryan. And I have Dude, to you've been getting hyped up last night. You came all turned up to the chill room at Pinellas Park, the best cob and Kratom Bar. Woo! Back to the tipping video. Yes, more prompts to tip? Absolutely. I see it everywhere. It has gotten a little crazy. I was recently asked by a computer for a tip where there were no people involved in the transaction. Okay, wow. well, that's, that's not tipping. That's just a scam. He probably was on, like, Pornhub and was like, do you want to add tips? Do you uh, want to tip your porn stars? Click here. You actually can't do that. You can send them presents and add on a... Uh, I, okay. You know what would be a great birthday present for you? Because we were on the topic of birthdays. Yeah, woo, turning 30, can't wait. I don't want it to happen. What? It's when you hire those people. Uh, what's that? Cameo? Yeah. I would have porn stars say happy birthday to you. For sure, that's what I'm getting you for your birthday in September. Why? Why do I want to? Because you fucking love him. You're like, oh my God, I remember her. And I'm going to have them be like, Why? hi, Ryan. Oh, that's true. Happy birthday, you big boy. See you later. Yeah, that's Alessia, what they would do. You got turned it, on. What is it about women that they think it's weird that guys know all the names of Tori Black, Asa Kira, Kendra Lust, Lisa, and Kendra Abigail Lust. Mack? First of all, I fucking love that you know these names. And I also. Local um, badass Melissa Double D Dawson. What? What? Melissa Double D Dawson? Hell yeah. <laughs> Ryan. What? Can you please, in this moment, come up with a porn star name for me? But it has to be like flo- like Melissa Double D Dawson Flows, and she probably has double Ds. What's your middle name? No, we can't. It's it's just it, it has nothing to do with anything. Because I I heard it's your middle name, and whatever yeah, is the first know. the first road you grew up on. Columbus. 34th Street South? <laughs> <laughs> nah, trust me. That's where you get an STD. You don't want to go to that place. I really want a porn star name, Ryan. I think this is really fun, but my name never goes with anything cool. Like, what was that girl's? Jennifer Lust, Love, all these bitches, Marie Marie. Uh, <sighs> Man, you're naughty today. I'm hyped. You're naughty. No, no, no. Hyped is you all the time. Alessia A... All right, listeners. What are you like when you wake up in the morning? Because I take about an hour to want to be alive. Oh, my God. I thought of my name. What is it? Hot Mess Less. Hell yeah. Coming soon to OnlyFans. Happy hour. Happy hour. And half the town's already experienced it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I sound like the craziest person on this podcast today. You like, really do. Are Happy like, hour. Who is- we'll be right back. What? Who's this? Who's this psycho? Uh, by the way, yeah. your your daughter's more normal than you. How does that feel? She is so normal. We always talk about this. I want to ask you though. What? Two things before I get into a live read. First of all, you don't have to tell me anything that happens behind closed doors because it's all family matters. But are there any flaws to your daughter, mm. or is she as awesome as? Flaws to my daughter. I'm fascinated because she seems more mature than most people I know. <laughs> she is so mature and it's hard to parent her because she always has great points. <laughs> yeah, <it laughs> When sucks. I try to discipline her, she's like, wait, but actually, and I'm like, oh, wait, you make a great point. Um, no, my daughter's perfect. I love her. She's amazing. She just got principal's list, school's out for summer, and uh, she did a really great. I always write her little notes in her lunchbox. And yeah. so on the last day that she had uh, lunch, I got her a card and wrote all of the things she accomplished this year in third grade. And I just love her. I wrote in her yearbook. I said, you are the future. I know. Love I, Ryan Hoppy. That's a smart thing to write. Why? It's just a cool. First of all, that's really cool that you thought to write, you are the future. 
I've been saying that a lot about like whatever. I think it's the alpha generation is what they're calling them. Really? Oh, yeah. The alphas? I swear to God. What? Generation uh, alpha. They're going to be the cockiest kids ever. Yeah. I was talking about this to a friend. First of all, uh, you're going to have to like put a GPS tracker on Mateo in 14 years. That boy's going to be underage drinking like no other. No. He is a lot. He He's going to be you as a teenager and... Your daughter's going to be the opposite of you. I feel like Mateo is going to end up being like a pastor. Mateo is going to be a ladies man. That guy has, <laughs> he has such confidence. He calls every, every he calls everybody caca head. <laughs> Which is shithead in, ba- a, in baby talk. I'm aware. Where does that come from? Is that his mom or dad or both? What is this caca thing? No, I think like Italians, instead of saying, oh, you have to go poo poo. We say, do you have to go so he's essentially insulting everybody (laughs) and we're living in his world (laughs) exactly it's fascinating uh he talks really well for a two-year-old though he's almost three next month so does he still talk well that's to be debated about (laughs) he's so cute he's like mommy will you bake me a monster truck cake and a and a dinosaur cake so i came up with this really cool concept and I can't wait to make it. It's like the road is like crushed Oreos and you get like monster trucks and dinosaurs. And you put little party hats on the dinosaurs, which I already have. It's going to be dope. Everybody's into things 20 years later. So in 10 years, EDM music will be 20 years old. Your son's going to be drinking to like Skrillex and Dead Mouse. Wow. They're going to be. Yeah. Remember this? 2010s. Yeah, I'm into this 2010 <laughs> vibe. What are they going to wear? I don't even know, but they're going to like bring back. I don't even know. Do you think your son's going to consume Mitra 9? I don't know. Good question, Ryan. He's into leche right now. What's that? What do you think leche is? A fancy tea. <laughs> it's milk in Spanish. Oh. <laughs> I got to learn my Spanish. He's into leche. Mommy leche. Mitra-9.com, the best kava and kratom around. And when you use keyword hoppy at checkout, you can save 20%. Also, the best CBD, THC, Delta 8 honey around is DZBZ honey at checkout. DZBZ honey.com, use keyword hoppy at checkout. Let the beat drop. Drop it. Oh, mics are on. Let's compliment each other. Tweet at him at Ryan Hoppy Radio or chat him live via the Hoppy Radio app. We are insecure narcissists. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The most listened to radio show on the planet. Even the other stations are tuned too. Eight five six forty nine hoppy. Do you have your phone ready while I do some plugs? Could you get some of the news for Alessia's pile off of the Facebook Messenger? I messaged you about twenty five articles at ten forty five at night the other day. I don't know if you noticed that or realized that because I uh, you've been impossible to get a hold of. It's been fascinating. It's kind of exciting because when I do get a hold of you, you're like, wow. I finally got Alessia's attention. It took forever. You keep saying that, but what's funny is I respond to you. I give you an answer, and then you ask the same damn question 10 times. It's called having ADHD and anxiety. I think you would know that by now. 856-49-HOPPY. It's 856-494-6773. You can tweet at me, at Ryan Hoppy Radio. First, before Alessia gets into her pile, Montana has banned TikTok. The new crackdown on TikTok. The Chinese-owned app is now banned in the entire state of Montana. Whit Johnson starts us off with the latest. Good morning, Whit. How unfair is that? Literally, there's got to be nothing to do in Montana. 
And people are probably fascinated by like what's in Montana when you get high as hell and you go on TikTok and look things up or they listen to what you're saying in a conversation at a bar where you go, I wonder what Montana's like. So it's listening and then shows you all Montana videos when you get home. So I've had that happen before because uh, TikTok listens to everything. I know the people that live in Montana can't even explain Montana because they got banned. I mean, maybe Chicago or Illinois, that's the same thing. Maybe Chicago or New York City should have TikTok banned because there's a lot to do there. But why do it to a place that needs attention? You make a great point. I always do, babe. Michael, good morning to you. So Montana morning. is now taking the lead in this fight against TikTok over security and privacy concerns. But the app has more than 150 million users in the U.S., raising serious questions about enforcement and potential legal challenges. This morning, Montana moving to become the first state in the U.S. to ban TikTok. Governor Greg Gianforte signing the bill into law, prohibiting the popular social media app from operating within state lines starting in January of 20. Is your kid on TikTok? Any of them? Heck no. Are you joking? I don't know with you. I don't hang out with you 24 7. Um, okay. What? What's going on? Tell me. All righty. Well, in other news. Why are we not talking about TikTok anymore? Just kidding. I don't know. You said what's going on. I was looking at an article. You know what? You know, you know what, Alessia? Focus. You know what, Alessia? <laughs> That's a good point because I don't even want TikTok listening to me talking about them. What the hell? Should we do a TikTok dance, you and I? No. Come on, let's do a dance. No, I don't dance. I'm not coordinated. <laughs> I'll just be behind you like this. You're a trip, man. You are a fun time. Uh, I went on a website called namenerds.com and it has a porn star name generator. What? And yours is Harmony Luscious. <laughs> let's see what mine is, dude. It says here, Guy Cash. Guy Cash? You or it could be Darren Cox. No, that's so overplayed. Uh, Kurt Adonis. I feel like that's the person's I, I real don't name. I like the word Kurt. I'm sorry. Titus Legend. No, the only like Titus the in this town is Titus O'Neil. Oh, you should be hoppy on it. Get it? Like, Hell yeah. Hop, hop on it. Yeah, let's do that. But you're hoppy on it? Okay. All right. What we was got that, a, Harmony Luscious? We got to quit talking about porn. Because we're going to burn in hell. What do you got in your pile? Well, this is a little interesting, but former Brady Bunch star Susan Olsen, 61, reveals the truth behind rumors that her on-screen mom, Florence Henderson, and on-screen brother, Barry Williams, had a sordid affair. If you're having to talk about it, there's something there. The former child star spoke about the alleged encounter between her co-stars. Yep, there has been speculation on her on-screen mom and brother had an affair. Okay, just to clarify this, we are talking about the Brady Bunch mother and one of the sons. Yeah. The, the oldest son. Yeah, we all like MILFs. I think you're aware of that. They hooked up. We all have, we all like MILFs. I Here's think you're aware of that. Of a lovely lady who was really getting down with one her sons dun dun yeah i like that that was pretty funny thanks okay you're welcome that's pretty uh sassy and crazy and i've spicy. never watched that show like i've watched it but i can't tell you a thing about it i used to watch it all the time on nick at night who remembers nick at night people i didn't have cable growing up so i kind of missed out you really you would have loved nick at night I mean, I've seen the shows like locally, like they would have WCIU, which was MOR TV for Tampa with all the reruns. My go-to was All in the Family, Married with Children, Friends. Did you ever watch King Bewitched? Nah, I'm not into that female thing. What, 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 what? what the fuck does that mean, Ryan? It's a female show. It's about a witch. And porn's about females too, Ryan. But you're into no. that. <laughs> porn's about me getting off because I'm anxious and alone. My That's God. all that is. Okay. You think I take porn seriously? You think I watch porn? I'm like, ah, oh, such a good plot line here. Mm -hmm. Okay. What? All right. In other news, this is something I've been thinking about a lot lately. What but up, DoorDash, babe? Uber Eats, and all of those fun service apps yeah. have been upcharging you, which I'm sure you knew because I spent $200 on sushi yesterday. What? $200. In DoorDash? 
Yeah, it wasn't DoorDash. It was Uber Eats, and I'm tired of this. And then I stopped myself, yeah. and I'm like, if I go all summer on these damn apps ordering breakfast, lunch, and dinner because I need to cook more at home, people, this is going to be bad for me. Money bags over here. Oh, I have no money. I should. Then not why are you be- spending two hundred bucks? And if you're going to spend two hundred bucks, you could easily go in person and get so much more food. The service charge, and then the tip amount. Speaking of tip amounts, yeah. Uber Eats knows when it's raining. So as you're entering everything in and checking out, it says, by the way, your driver's working so hard and uh-huh. it's raining. So why don't you tip them more? And then you're like, oh, you're right. They're driving in the rain for me because my spoiled ass doesn't want to go out and just pick up the food myself. Let me tip them more. Man, the money I have wasted just on service charges and tips, I would be having a lot more money in my bank account. That's how it works. Yeah. So what about you? How often do you order food? Never, because I pick it up in person. Wow. Really? Only thing I'll I'll do pre orders of so like Chipotle. Yeah. If I go to Chipotle or McDonald's, I'll do a pre order and then at checkout and the drive through, I'll go order C B D five and then they I it's better. I'm sorry. You pre-order McDonald's. Yeah, right after I get off of work. When wow. I, so my, As if it's not fast enough, let me pre-order my 99 cent cheeseburger. First of all, I wish it was 99 cents. It's like two ninety nine. <laughs> Hear me out. So I want to have my food immediately and I will... Listen, I've been working six, seven hours. I'm drenched in sweat. Beasley Media Group is right next door to the McDonald's on 4th. So I'll pre-order it when I'm walking out of the building. And then by the time I get to McDonald's, they're like, what do you want? And I'm like, I have a mobile order from the app DB85. And then they're like, pull around, honey. And then I pull around and then I get the food and then I leave. It saves two, three minutes. I thought you were lazier. And so I assumed you ordered a lot of like food delivered to your home because you don't want to get out of bed. Speaking of Ryan in bed, we were supposed to record our podcast the other day. (laughs) I forgot about that. And I walk for, he didn't, sometimes I just walk in, I don't knock. So I open the door. Has that ever gotten you in trouble with your parents just walking in? Well, God. It did. Now that I'm an adult and I know I have to lock the door when I want to have fun, yeah. I can remember times that the door was locked and I was like, why is the door locked? Knock, 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 knock. Shut knock. up. Let me finish. Why are, are you in there? Yeah. Yes, we're, we're here. Just we're busy right now. I don't know why the door is locked. Open the door, mom. Why is the door locked? That's me shaking the door. Right. You must have been a real joy. And now I'm doing <laughs> now I'm doing that and I'm like locking the door and I'm like, oh, okay, this makes sense. Anyways, back to the story. Yeah, of course. Oh, hi, Luna. Nice. Yeah, my cat came out. Wow. Between you and I, we yeah. have the worst ADHD. <laughs> yeah, today's pretty bad. So what happened last week when you saw me naked? We were, I did not see you naked. Almost. Almost. <laughs> I walked in to Ryan's house and I noticed that the podcast table wasn't in its normal spot. <laughs> Everything was dark. Ryan was nowhere to be found. And so I took a step in and I'm like, Ryan? Ryan, no. no one responded. I'm like, oh my God, where, where's Ryan? Yeah, uh, Ryan. And then I see this very startled man pop out of bed underneath his duvet comforter. Imagine just a very large bodied man hidden completely under a white fluffy duvet comforter and he pops up and I'm like, dude, Ryan, we're supposed to record our podcast. And he's like, oh my God, don't look, turn around. And I'm like, wow, he saw me and immediately got a boner. And so I had to- No, I was naked. I sleep naked. I I was kidding, Ryan. Do you sleep naked? No. I like granny panties when I sleep in a big t-shirt. Of course you do. You want to be an old woman so badly. Or a cardigan, like a big cozy cardigan. Anyways, so I walked out, gave him a second, came back in, and I was like, Ryan, I'm leaving. I ain't got time for this. And I left. And that's why it's been so long since I've been on the podcast. I know. You haven't had any time for it. Uh, You never like officially confirmed that day. So I just assumed you weren't going to show up. Actually, this goes back to our damn text messages. I said, yes, I would be there. And then you texted me five more times if I was sure when I already told you yes. I, I know. And then I showed up and you're like, well, you never confirmed. And I'm like, uh, man, you know boys, when, read the fucking text message. When you're 
surrounded by negative vibes, you don't think anything is possible. I feel <laughs> spicy. I feel very energized and yeah. caffeinated. And uh, here's another thing. A, what? St- a stimulant. What? States that legalize marijuana see reduced pada- t- p- t- p- t- what is that? tobacco use. Is, is that your new porn name, Padat? No, I was stuttering and I... <laughs> Welcome to the club. Now you know how it feels to always be me. So what happened? So states that have been legalizing marijuana have seen a reduced uh, profit in tobacco. So the the purchases of tobacco have significantly dropped since they have legalized marijuana. Do we think this is a benefit? Hell yeah. I mean, I would think so. I've heard it's not as bad for your lungs. Like, obviously, it's not ideal. What do they say is not as bad? That, I don't know. I think it's because there's not the nicotine because it's a plant. I'm not going to pretend like I know. I just smoke it. Mm. Researchers just fi- did find significant evidence that Wanna the adoption of the state recreation marijuana laws led to a slight uptick in cannabis use among adults. Hmm. Yeah. I don't even know what I read. I don't even know what, what you read. Happy hour. Happy hour. Up next... We're going to come back and get this party wrapped up already, which uh, Alessia wouldn't know about wrapping it up. <laughs> oh, my God. Did I talk to you about that? Just kidding. Uh, no, it's just common sense because you have two kids. Uh, here is Lucas Brown. Let's drop it. Let's No choice We stealthy with the come up We make no noise I'm riding in the foreign It's a Rolls Royce I go and slap the hate up Out of your voice Yeah Yeah, I got no choice I had to be successful For my homeboys We pull up on your squad We got more boys We got them diamond dancing I got more toys I'ma be the greatest This city's ever seen Mark it in your calendars I'm coming for your team As a fact Welcome back to Hoppy Hour. 
Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The most listened to radio show on the planet. Even the other stations are tuned in too. In today's Tech Bites, Instagram is back up and running after a global outage. The company blames the hours-long outage yesterday on a technical issue. Meanwhile, Instagram's parent company, Meta, is working on a Twitter clone. It's expected... Of course they're going to copy everything. Originality is dead. Um, By the way, Alessia, uh, were you a part of the outage? I was working a promotions gig, so I actually wasn't on my phone, so I didn't notice. I was, and I was annoyed, and I was like, okay, it's going to pass. And I think we're well aware of them now. Like, before I was like, oh my God, what the... is up with my phone. Why is this happening? I think it was like, because I have such a weird memory. I think it was like October 1st, 2021, when everything was down. Remember the first time everything was down? Yeah, and everyone thought it was just their own phone until we all connected the dots because of social media that, wait, this happened to you? Like, we're all connected. Yeah, we're all, we're all the same. To launch this summer as a standalone text based app that will partially integrate within Instagram. In response to the news, Twitter's new CEO tweeted, Game on. DoorDash. I don't care about DoorDash. What do you have? All right. So, 23 year old influencer, and my, my, is she pretty, created an AI version of herself that can be rented for a dollar per minute. Can I see an ugly influencer? I mean, all influencers are pretty. Are they? Most of them. Well, anyways, Karen Marjorie, who is the famous on Snapchat, has yeah. created a chatbot of herself using AI technology from OpenAI. <gasps> the chatbot uses voice, and people can pay a dollar for every minute they chat with it. Karen believes that she can make up to $5 million every month from this according to fortune magazine could you imagine this is so smart for people who are already in the door as influencers technology is just going to keep coming and opening more opportunities for them to stream their income now you can put a fake bot out of yourself and people can generate your own voice and you don't even have to do the work you're just collecting money Five million a month ryan i know a few gen z kids the ones you met last night that can do that and they played me a clip, and I was like, "This is AI, right?" It was the scariest thing. It was the what it was, was the of clip a, of? It was of a person I know. <laughs> uh, oh, it's called a hooded eyelid. <laughs> it was so earlier in the show, but it was. Let me see here. I told you. Fifty-one minutes in, fifty-two minutes in, I was close. I was off. Oh I was my under by five minutes. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna name the episode. It was a hooded eyelid. <laughs> That's what I'm naming this episode. Yeah, I have hooded eyelids. So when I wink, it like makes them like all the extra skin kind of sag over my eye. Yeah. Anyways, it's real gross. I don't think it's cute. And Ryan's like, you look great in this picture. Like people think like you're up to something and you're real permis- promiscuous. And I'm like, no. <laughs> we do think that. <laughs> not, it's not what I look like. Dude, you're so, why are women so hard on themselves? Too hard. Why do women, my mom just texted me, so she's visiting next week, and she Yay, says it's going to be her. rainy all next week. Hi, yeah. Mama Hoppy. She yeah. wished me a happy birthday. She's the best. I texted her. I was like, wish her a happy birthday. Oh, you told her? But she's a nurse. I, she's, she's so sweet. Yeah, she is. Um, of course, whenever she visits, it's either too cold or too rainy. But then again, it, she's thinking like in Illinois terms that it's just going to rain for nine hours in a row. She doesn't realize that there will be some sun. And Florida's he, Florida summer is upon us. It is spontaneous, sporadic rainstorms. And it's then schizophrenic. It's, and then it's hot and sunny and yeah. humid as hell. Of course. And, oof, it's wet in this place. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Now, Netflix rolling out its long-awaited crackdown on password sharing. It's now banned unless you pay more. Janae Norman is here now with those details. Boo! Uh, uh, good morning, Janae. <laughs> That's right, Robin. You either got to pay more or kick me off your account now. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, second of all, literally, they make per second probably what Netflix is per month. I hate when rich people are like, Howard Stern does this a lot. He's like, Oh, I have to pay for all of these services. Like, yeah, it's like $70 a month if you add all of them together, but that's how much you make a second. Like, 
I love when rich people try to relate to the audience. This just in, you can't. Power sharing crackdown began back in February in other countries like Canada, New Zealand, Portugal, and Canada. Spain. Now customers in this country will feel the impacts of Netflix trying to shut down sharing passwords. This morning, Netflix subscribers in for a rude awakening. The company now saying they're officially cracking down and putting an end to password sharing. Yeah. The streaming giant making clear in a notice to customers, your Netflix account is for you and the people you live with, mm -hmm. your household. Do you love me? I love you! And now, looking to cut down on the more than 100 million households worldwide previously estimated to share accounts. What'd you say? Say it again! I dare you to say it again! All right, they're just playing shows from Netflix. Uh, you like Netflix? My favorite's HBO Max, which is now called Max, which I think is going to confuse people. Hey, did you watch that show on Max? No, I did not have sex with Max. We broke up a few nights ago. <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty good. Oh, okay. It was sort of like a sick, a sitcom joke from like, let's say the Big Bang Theory where my laughter made it funny. Because right. if I didn't go. <laughs> right, right. That's why I laughed. Trust me. That wasn't the only reason you laughed. It was funny. Yeah. Can I talk about this show? What show? This show, the Hoppy Hour show. What? What about it? Well, I've been a little crazy today. I think it's time to call it a day. You just are saying that because you got to go. <laughs> but it's 12.58 We got two minutes Let's No I don't have to go But I just realized We talked about nothing For an hour That's radio in general I would rather <laughs> talk about nothing And embrace it Than be a radio person That thinks they're higher And better than everybody cause That's true That's true And Tampa We are Bay's, trash Tampa We are Bay's trash And we embarrass And we em well, embarrass too. <laughs> We embrace it We're trash And we know it Hell yeah Happy hour. Happy hour will be right back. Uh, this has been brought to you by WestChasePrinting.com. I'm getting my business cards today. I'm going I, to Tone's house. I can't wait. It's going to be a good look. going to be professional. going to be everything I ever want it to be. What up? Super psyched to have one of your business cards, Ryan. Hell yeah. RichKBarber.com after this. You I'm getting my hair cut. Woo! And then uh, AmirAcademy.com, uh, AstroBleam.com. I can't promote it. AstroBleam. I can't promote it on Facebook because it's drugs. A-S-T-R-O-B-L-E-M-E.com, the best hemp lemonade. Use keyword hoppy. Brewed here locally in Tampa Bay. FitSageFitness.net. All right, we're going to come back and wrap up everything. Happy hour. Happy hour. Finally, I'm one of those guys who can't wait to get to work in the morning. Like a dairy cow. Oh! Oh! Oh, yes! Yes! Oh! Call Hoppy now. 856-49-HOPPY. <laughs> Tweet at him at Ryan Hoppy trash. Radio. Okay. Or chat him live via the Hoppy Radio app. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The most listened to radio show on the planet. Even the other stations are tuned in too. I just realized something, Ryan. What? Next time you add sound effects to our board, they have to go through me. It's like a uh, $9,000 prostitute, please. Oh, do you have nine $1,000 ones? <laughs> <laughs> I love that the whole time that was playing, you mouthed it to yourself silently. No, I didn't. Yes, you did, did I? You Why does the Calandra <laughs> family observes me so much? Your mom observes me. Uh, Your mom's awesome boyfriend observes me. What's his name again? Dave. Dave. Thank God I remember. Oh, we don't talk about Dave. Just kidding, Dave. You're great, but like, I hope my dad's not listening. Family drama. <laughs> Happy Hour. And like that, he's gone. Happy Hour is now over. Happy Hour is now over. Happy Hour is now over.